All right, it's going to be a great weekend here in Connecticut. Yeah. Renee Danino from the River 105.9 is here with all the fun things happening in our state as we have our green on. Yes. Sunday will be the official St. Patrick's Day. I can't. I love St. Patrick's. I love shepherd's pie, by the way. Yeah. It's, it's like really my good. favorite thing to eat. So I, I love I, the food. I have I love to apologize. The fun. I'm not in green because I work on a chroma key, so I would key out. So you and wear I, red I, for Christmas. I it's wore, good. I wore red. <laughs> well, you have one we holiday. We're doing covered. a promo today. And Our I director to says, I'm just hearing excuses. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> so I do apologize. Just a lot of All right, but you look as lovely as a clover. Well, thank you. And this weekend, we are going to be wrapping St. Patrick's Day up with tons of events across our state, uh, across our state, of course, Sunday being St. Patrick's Day with events and parties for all ages. So now, as of today, you guys, this is important. As of today and right now, there are tickets still available for these events at the Essex Steam Train both Saturday and Sunday. So head to the Essex Steam Train for a Mommy and Me Leprechaun Tea. This is tomorrow, noon to 1.30. Follow the rainbow, wear your Irish green, and hop aboard the Essex Steam Train with your wee ones for a festive Leprechaun Tea in the 1920s Pullman style. Coach, that's going to be fun. Then Saturday night, there's an incredible St. Patrick's Day feast all aboard the elegant Essex Clipper dinner train for a four course meal served in the beautifully restored 1920s Pullman diners pulled by a vintage diesel locomotive. Now it's just about $120 per person, which includes a two to two and a half hour train ride, four course meal, coffee, tea, oh, service, wow, tax meal, everything is included including the soda, the bread. soda bread and spinach mm. artichoke dip with Christini. It's delicious. <laughs> Everything is going to be all geared towards your authentic Irish meal, dinner info, dessert, all that you need is at the Essex Steam Train dot com. All right, Meriden's favorite parade is back for the 49th year. You can join your friends and family in celebrating the 49th annual Meriden AOH St. Patrick's Day Parade on Saturday. That's tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. The parade will begin at the corner of Parker Ave and East Main Street and will march through downtown Meriden and end at the corner of West Main Street and Bradley Ave. All are welcome to participate. There's a ton of parades, by the way, across yeah. the state, and I've got a listed for you, and then, of course, on the Channel 3 app, too. Okay, good. By the way, Saturday and Sunday, it's shamrock season, and the Apple Barrel Farm Market is going all Irish at the Lyman Leprechaun Bash on Saturday, March 16th, and Sunday, March 17th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., both days at Lyman Orchards. For all the activities, you can visit LymanOrchards.com. Also, this weekend, it's the annual O'Niantic 5K on Saturday <laughs> and the O'Hartford 5K and 10K huh. on Sunday. You can get in your favorite green gear for a St. Patty's Day themed race and bring non perishable food items to both of those uh, parades by, or excuse me, runs, by the way, to donate to local food pantries. All the details about all the races are at HartfordMarathon.com. Now, this weekend, you know, you know I had to pick this movie. There's streaming, there's a lot of new stuff happening, but we're talking about Arthur the King. Over the course of 10 days and 435 miles, an unbreakable bond is forged between pro-adventure racer Michael Light and a scrappy street dog companion dubbed Arthur. Based on an incredible true story, Arthur the King follows Light desperate for one last chance to win as he convinces a sponsor to back him and a team of athletes for the Adventure Racing World Championship in the Dominican Republic. As the team is pushed to their outer limits of endurance in the race, Arthur redefines what victory, loyalty, and friendship truly mean. Take a look. We got a race to win. Just remember, Michael, this race doesn't define you. I raced for 19 years. This is my last chance to win. Three, two, one. And it was a young boy living in the city. All it did was run, run, run. Over the next 10 days, these athletes will cross 400 miles climbing, biking, and kayaking. That dot is daddy. Go, daddy, dot. Let's talk again the meatballs. Three days, 200 miles ago. Leave the stupid dog and let's go. Come on. Move. Come, talk. What is it, boy? Oh. Oh, God. Can't believe I almost walked right off that cliff. Extra meatballs for you, my friend. Mm. Extra meatballs for you, my friend. I love Isn't Mark that great? Wahlberg, and it's based on a true story. That's so cool. It's based. On, so I have a feeling that's going to be in the top five this week, and it definitely has to be. And of course, I've got a listing of all the movies and what's streaming, what you can watch right from your couch. Uh, you can follow me, my Renee Dino Facebook and Instagram page, which is where you can find Wolfie, who is in the quarterfinals. Look at my boy. He made it. Vote for America's favorite pet. That link is on my sites. If he wins, we get to be on the cover of Modern Dog magazine, but even 
even better, we get a whole boatload of cash that we're donating to Connecticut charities for both people. It's like ten thousand dollars, right? It's ten thousand dollars. That's a lot so, of money. So it's going to help a lot of people out. And if you can give me a follow, or even if you don't follow me, look for me, and you can click. I have the link to America's Favorite Pet. You click it. You can vote for free daily. That's important. Or if you're comfortable, you can donate tax deductible to help Pause Rescue for animals across the country. That's Wonderful. so great. Good luck, Wolfie. Wonderful. Vote for Wolfie. Vote for Wolfie.